Hi friends! Here's a quick video to show you how to pull the end of yarn from the middle of your skein. This is really handy if you don't have a ball winder and a swift to turn a skein into a cake. Get started, take off any labels that you got on your, your skein. And I like to find one end to begin with. There's always one end that's easiest to find because it was the end that came off of the, the machine last. So here it is, it's usually just like tucked into the center really carefully. And you can totally work with this yarn, that's fine, but you're always gonna have to be unraveling your skein. So what I like to do first, what I like to do second, I guess, take this yarn and just wrap it around the center of your skein and then loop around that end real good so it doesn't come undone. So now that's out of the way. But in here is the other end of your yarn. So I like to stick my pointer fingers in to both ends. One of them is usually a little looser than the other and just kind of like dig around, forage around in there. So you feel like you might be at like the very, very center, the very, very end. Get your thumb and your pointer finger inside there too and just grab and then pull out. And you're gonna get a little yarn vomit like that. But do you see how there's only one strand coming from the center of my yarn? That's what you want. So somewhere in here is the other end of my yarn. And look, I actually see it right there. But if you see it, don't grab from here because you're gonna make a big old knot. Instead, just slowly unravel from that single strain that's come, strand that's coming right out of the center of your yarn. That way everything is piling up nicely over here. Nothing's getting tied into a knot. You won't run into any problems that way. And then there you go, you found the other end. And what's so great about working with the yarn coming from the center of your skein is, as you work, it just glides out like that. You don't have to constantly be unraveling your skein. So you've got this and then you're ready to make a slip knot and cast on. Happy making.